What's going on YouTube, Fezzafire Media. First of all, it looks like we might be seeing some new music from SJ out of OFB. He put up saying on his Instagram story saying, at 300k, we'll let one go, what are you saying? Since SJ got locked up, I actually expected a few tracks to be dropped, like maybe even audio tracks or lyric videos. I would expect he would have some pre-recorded tracks as all that time is probably on trial and knew, him, and knew he had to fight that case in the future and could end up inside. A lot of rappers would pre-record some tracks. He also shared and supported the new Daily Duppy with Band OK, Double L's and Isport, which has now been re-uploaded after getting taken down two times. But I do feel bad for OFB on this one. It's done like 400k views, I think, in 24 hours. It would have done a lot more. It's been re-uploaded so many times. A lot of people done reaction videos. And just the views have been taken off all the stuff because it's not as exclusive now that it's been re-uploaded for the third time. So the views have dropped hugely. What did you guys think of the Daily Duppy? How mad would it have been if they had SJ? Isport did his thing though, but SJ would have shelled that Daily Duppy. Now, in other news, Piers Morgan said a range of stuff are going at Harry and Meghan on Twitter and Giggs defended Meghan because Piers Morgan's always getting on to her. Giggs said, Piers, bro, please let it go, man. She wasn't interested in you, man. Plenty more fish in the sea is a real thing. The quicker you try and move on and heal, better for your confidence. Right now, you're looking like a wogey in something about Mary. Piers Morgan. Then he said, Woogie Morgs, that's your new name, at Piers Morgan. And it actually got to Piers as well because he blocked Giggs on Twitter and Giggs tweeted him with a block saying, My guy, I was just trying to help you get some pussy. You was looking bad out here. I'd want you to tell me. Giggs is literally the funniest guy on Twitter, I'm not going to lie. He was at in Disney not long ago about the movie selection they have. He's too funny on Twitter. Other story, guys. PewDiePie versus 6 9 in a boxing match. This is what I'm hearing. PewDiePie called him out for it. 6 9 is probably the most clout-based rapper. And PewDiePie, of course, the most subscribed on YouTube. I'm not sure if he still is the most subscribed channel, but he's definitely the most single popular. There's other companies and stuff like T-Series. But would you guys want to see that? The amount of numbers that would pull in would be crazy. But them two are not fighters at all from what i know so it'd be very very weird to see that to be honest with you i don't think that one's too serious but jake paul is calling out more and more people we see him go for conor mcgregor and now he's called out khabib on tiktok as well it's a riot fighting a bunch of people that are not actually even boxers or anything close to that they're doing it for the first time and then you win but if one of these guys actually call his bluff and fight him it's gonna be easy it's their bread and butter i don't even know if jake's gonna have the balls to actually go ahead and do it i think he's just calling them out for attention and people are saying he stands a chance because it's boxing not mma mma fighters boxing abilities still way better than Jake Paul's is. Jake Paul's becoming the 6 9 of the YouTube scene. Maybe them two should fight. That's more realistic for him. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes if you want to see more updates later. Guys, thank you all for watching this video. As always, make sure you subscribe and press that notification bell to be updated on my next videos. And follow me on Instagram at Fezify. Drop me a message. Feel free. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.